Okay. Are you sure the lighting isn't too bright? No. Maybe our lipstick's just too dark. You know what? That's a good enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Your and... voice changes. <laughs> I'm here with the OG, the number one. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, we're gonna do the BFF tag and uh, she'll probably expose me again because you already did one, so. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and get on into it. Who wants to take that? I'll take it. Okay. Okay. So I was at martial arts and your brother was at the same studio mm -hmm. and you were hanging out and you were being a brat because you didn't want to be there. And your dad was talking to me about <laughs> frogs. It was about yeah. frogs. Yeah. The, the Puerto Rican the, frogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The coquina, right? The coquina. Yeah. yeah. And we were talking about frogs and then we realized that we lived in the same neighborhood and I started like following you around on my bike because I was lonely. <laughs> Actually, yeah. delete that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did see you like always riding your bike, and you look at me, and I'm like, mm -hmm. I, I don't know how to approach her, so I'm just gonna keep walking. Yeah. And then what? Oh God, no! It was because I knew that you were there, mm -hmm. and I wanted to be friends, but I didn't know how to be friends because I was very, I was very much a loner. And my mom was like, you need to go out and like ride your bike and see if y'all can like ride bikes together or something. And then we started hanging out at like the park and then mm -hmm. all of a sudden we were best friends. My first impression of you was like, she seems like really sweet. Aww. Yeah, I was like, she looks like she's down to earth. Like she's not worried about being glamorous or being like all cool. Like you dressed how you wanted, you looked like you wanted. And I thought that was pretty cool because I was also like that kind of crazy with my style. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's my first impression. Aww. Mine... I don't, I don't remember. No? No. Besides the brat thing. Well, yeah, there was that. But you, like, really adamantly did not want to be there no. at that point in time. And I was like, what is her problem? Why is she acting like this? I mean, there are couches. She can just sit. I was uncomfortable because there's too much people. I thought you weren't going to like me. That was my first impression. Really? Yeah. I didn't think you were going to like me. Why? I don't know. I always felt like I was really annoying. But I guess I didn't talk that much. Mm. But I thought I talked a lot. Interesting. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. It would have to be have one. making those videos. Oh my god. Should we pull them up? Keep <laughs> going. Let's move right now. Let's move. Move, move, move. Move, move, move. We created oh a character god. called Peanut and PJ. Yeah, you were PJ. I was PJ, it's just Peanut, and it was basically like supposed to be a TV show. Oh my god, when I hung your underwear on the wall! <laughs> did you? Okay, so I have a picture of you when you, so she did this, imagine this is a wall, this is a wall, fun fact. Um, so she hung underwear right here and like a Barbie doll and, and like a, a little chair. Whole, yeah, and like a whole bunch of random stuff, but she hung my underwear on the wall and she thought it was hilarious. And I have this picture of you, like you're standing next to it smiling and then the next one, like you were leaning over to laugh and I have you and you look like a raptor, you're like, ah! <laughs> Frozen in time forever. <laughs> you know, when you get married, that's going to be in the slideshow. Right? You know? And then I have <laughs> another one. Invitation. For the same day, I had like this blue wig and a hairband. Mm -hmm. And like you had it upside down oh. and you were like, eh! <laughs> like that. <laughs> I'm going to do it. So you remember when we went to the Keys? Yeah, that family? was so much fun. Mm -hmm. And then we stayed in the roundhouse. Oh my God, <laughs> Dad! <laughs> and you were terrified. Oh my God, okay. So we went to the Keys, because my family has a house down in the Keys, and we stayed in like, it's called the Brown House, but it's like a separate shower house, or it used to be, but they renovated it into like a spare bedroom. And one night we were in there, it was our first night there, and mm. like my uncles were there and they were telling us stories of how it was haunted and all this other shit, and, or stuff. <laughs> You're fine. Sorry. And it was like a really bad storm. <laughs> And all of a sudden, like, these coconuts or whatever, like, these loud bangs just started happening. And then the lightning hit and someone was standing in the doorway. And we were literally screeching. And what was it? I said cousin. something stupid. No, no, no. Um, you were like, oh, no, we have to call 911 because we kept trying to call everyone yeah. and no one answer. And I was like, no, I think the number is different down here. <laughs> and it wasn't because it's 911. Yeah. And I was stupid because we were young and I didn't think that and so we ended up like packing our bags yeah 
in just like nightgowns and underwear and running in the rain yeah. to the main house because we were terrified and my grandfather had to go down in the middle of the night we were begging him we were like don't go it's haunted it's you're gonna get hurt and he had to go out and get the sheets and bring them back for us it was mm. so bad that was so funny that's my favorite memory i still <laughs> laugh about that the, the fact that we figured out what would be our reaction in a horror movie mine did you remember i was like i'm gonna sleep it off i'm gonna go to sleep so i don't remember it <laughs> And you were just like screaming, like you wanted to stay up, and you didn't want to defend yourself either. So like you I were. I was like latched on. I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> it was. So I'm not too pretty to die. <laughs> I was not. Fun fact. You were. You still are. Hmm. Who would play your friend in a movie? That's a good question. Selena Gomez. <laughs> I called it. How did you pronounce that though? Selena Gomez. Did I say it wrong? When I play back this video, you're gonna die. <laughs> mm -hmm. You, I would say... My first, like right now, my first one was Scarlett Johansson. That's who I would have her play. Nice. Or, that's who would play you. You want to make a sandwich for your friend. What do you put on it? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, so we have... Okay, my so we have a thing called the special sandwich. Explain what that is. Okay, so, white bread, mm -hmm. right? And then we took turkey. It depends on what type of meat that we had. But yeah. It we, we looks like turkey, roast beef. Mm -hmm. um, if we had like the chicken breast, we would put it on there, I think. Mm -hmm. And then mustard for me. But no, but I had only mayonnaise for me. Yeah. We did separates on mm -hmm. that. And then pickles. Pickles and, and cheese. Pickles yeah. is what made it magic. Yeah. And they were like these giant sandwiches that we couldn't even like fit mm -hmm. <laughs> in our mouths. I mean, you would have to like mush them down to eat them. Mm -hmm. And that is the type of sandwich that we like. And I kind of want one now. I'm I not gonna know. Lie. It's, it's good because like you get the ham and cheese or whatever, mm -hmm. but like the pickle. Ham. Yeah, it was ham. That's what it was. You get the pickle like, adds a refreshing like bite it to it. I love pickles. Try it out. Let me know in the comments below if you like it. <laughs> I feel like I'm a realist. Yeah, I don't so think you're pessimistic. You're, I think you're just real. Yeah, I think you're more the optimist out of the two of us. You're like, no, 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 it's going to be fine. It's going to work. And I'm like, mm, it's not going to work. <laughs> I'm telling you. Guess what? It never works. <laughs> what do you admire the most about the other person? Mm -hmm. A lot of things. Talk to me, darling. <laughs> <laughs> I think out of all of them, it would have to be... I think it's the same reason why I liked you when I first met you. It was just that you were real as hell. Like, you lived in your own world, and that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's not wrong. <laughs> and you're really smart, so that's another oh, good thanks. quality. Mine, for you. Well, clearly I admire what you've done with your <laughs> pages and all of that stuff, but there's so much that it's like, how am I going to choose one? <laughs> oh. I'm just really proud of you overall, because I don't ever go after what I really want. Like I have no idea what I really want. So mm -hmm. I'm stuck in like a business world that I don't feel like I fit in, mm -hmm. but you've completely negated that. You're like, you know what? This isn't what I want to do. I want to do this and I'm going to freaking do it. And you have, and I'm so proud of you for no, that. Oh, I love you. You're going to tear me apart, go on. <laughs> okay. Just go tell me <laughs> Look, you've never won your messy AF. <laughs> yeah. So messy. Um, your worst habit. Oh, you have many. <laughs> you have many. <laughs> the way you sleep. The way I sleep? Yes, the way you sleep. So she sleeps, like, I don't know if you still sleep like this, but you did when we, in, like, middle school and high school. And you sleep in this ball. Oh, and I don't know how you do it, because you, like, you'll lay down, and you're fine. And then we'll wake up in the morning, and, like, your hair is in front of your face. You're burrowed underneath, and you're, like, laying there like a rabbit, like this. But you're not on your side anymore. You're on my side. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? Why is this a thing? And I think, actually, that's why I've learned to just lay here when I sleep, because I don't move when I sleep. I think you've beaten that into me. Oh, my God. That's I didn't know that I was, like, sleeping onto your side, because now when I sleep, I do sleep in a ball, but I don't move. Mm, yeah. Your, your worst habit... Yeah. Oh, God. You're always on the go. Like, you don't sit down and you have your breakfast. You're like, waffle, <laughs> out of the door. <laughs> I'm like, girl, relax. Go eat your food. But yeah. you actually got me obsessed with eating waffles with no syrup. Because you used to take yeah. it on the go, and now, now I do that. Oh, I did, like, the Eggo waffles. Mm -hmm. I did. I was always moving. It's because I always wanted that extra five minutes of sleep. Mm -hmm. And it was worth not sitting down to eat my breakfast. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. that would be your worst habit. You just are always like, you know. You answer first. No, I'll answer first. No, you answer first. <laughs> I don't know what you're gonna say. At a shelter, at a, like an animal shelter. That's true. You always <laughs> wanted to be a vet. Mm -hmm. Like for as long as I can remember, that was like the job career that you wanted. I mean, you were even in like the agriculture mm -hmm. thing when we were in high school. Like that was your sh like niche is you wanted to be a vet. And then you got into video making, which is yeah. awesome too. But <clears throat> I think you would spend money at like shelters and donate money there. Yeah. Um, you would spend that money on a business, I feel. Mm -hmm. Like depends on where you're at in your life, but... Mm -hmm. I think you would be an investor in a way, like invested like a portion out. And well, did you know that a lot of people who um, have won the lottery, they go bankrupt because they buy these houses that they can afford now. So they win, let's say they win $4 million from the mm -hmm. lottery. They buy a $4 million house and <clears throat> they pay cash for it or they pay whatever for it. But then they lose the house and everything else and they go bankrupt because they can't afford the property taxes mm. on the property that they're buying. And they can't keep up with it with, it, with the job that they have. Mm -hmm. So they're living above their means even though they've won the lottery. That's true. That happens to a lot of people mm -hmm. that won the lottery. Fun fact. I, I would too. buy myself a library for that house. Yeah, I forgot about that. You so liked. I can have a, I love reading. I, I think you would have it like Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah. That's like my dream. Cats and books. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> that is as hard of a cat lady as you can get. <laughs> like, it's real. The struggle Honestly. is real. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't remember the reason, but we were, it was just so stupid. It was over a guy. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it was so over, it was over Kyle. No, it wasn't. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Him? Mm. What was mm. I excited about that? that guy? No. no, it was over the Sweet 16. It wasn't. It was because I was being a brat about it and you called me out and I was not happy with you calling me out. Whoa, throwback. Yes. Yeah, that's what it was. Well, you were stressed and as a teenager, I didn't understand like, yeah, yeah. when you run a wedding or a birthday, you're going to be stressed. And like, yeah. And I'm like, a, I've always been, I feel like I've always been really laid back. So it was the first time that I was really like high stress. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. Everyone wants me to do this. And I don't know what I'm doing. And you were just like, we didn't click. Mm -hmm. That was the first time I think that we ever didn't click. Yeah. Yeah. Because Kyle came after that. Yeah, and I didn't really care for him. So I, like, I know, but I didn't know that because we weren't like hanging out constantly yeah. anymore. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like we talked about it. Mm -hmm. You texted me first, I think, I... in college. No, because it was graduation day that you hugged me. I think I saw your dad, and I went over because I love her dad. Um, and all of both of her parents. And she was all just of her forced parents, to like hug you me. Have 40 billion. <laughs> yeah, they made us take a picture together, and I have like three chins in it, and it's just the two of us like this, like. Yeah. Oh, but you, yeah, yeah. Wait, that was kind of like when we kind of like, and then we started yeah. talking back on Facebook and then yeah, led back in. But I wish I did it sooner because this whole time I'm, I was like miserable. We were and... both really miserable. <laughs> like I, did, I didn't feel like I had any real friends yeah. anymore because mm -hmm. I was friends with like people. I won't name names. Um, but I never really felt like they were my real friends. We never had anything in common mm -hmm. anymore. Plus, yeah. everyone lived a billion miles away, and I never wanted to hang out with anyone, <laughs> so. Yeah, no, I, like, 10th grade was, like, hard. I was, like, I don't want to be here. Mm -hmm. I want to talk to her, but, like, what if she rejects me, and then I'm, like, looking stupid, and. I would have never. I felt like you would have. That's why I didn't I'm a straight to. shooter, but I don't like hurting people's feelings <laughs> if I don't have to. Yeah, well. <laughs> Looks away awkwardly. <laughs> mm. I laugh about it now, because I think it's yeah. so stupid. It was so dumb. So but what really, what really upsets me is, like, your sweet 16 is supposed to be the time that you spent, like, your really mm -hmm. good friends and family, and we'll never share that together, because I didn't go to yours either. And that was, like, we've been best friends for so long, like, you would expect to share that one, mm -hmm. like, specific memory together. We should have You know what we should me. do? You didn't invite me, okay. so. You know what? I was petty. I wanted to go. I was like, oh. We should God. plan another party. We should. A, a triple or double sweet 16 <laughs> for the two of us, a rehash. That would be so cute. I'm down for this. I'm down. We're doing it. It's happening. You have like the frame that I want. Mm. Like you're just very petite. And I always feel that I'm like just too big. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not fat. I mean, mm. I'm 5'9", fun fact. I'm really, really tall. tall. So I'm like proportionate for my size. I just always wished I was smaller. So I've always been really jealous that you've been like small. I've been able Thank to like wear the clothes that I want that I can't because I have to 
find something that fits my height and my chest size mm. and all of that stuff. So, yeah, yeah, I would say for I always wanted her boobs because I have like, and she had like these really big ones. I'm like, that's what I want. So I, I mean, I guess we always want what we don't like have. Like it's always the opposite. Always you can always have mine, girl. It's right. Fine. You can borrow them. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. and I liked your eyes. I've always wanted blue eyes. I don't like my brown, well, I like my brown ones now, but, like, I was obsessed, and I'm like, why wasn't I born with blue eyes? Like, blue eyes are really awesome. Hers are really pretty. Um. Oh, God. You, you gotta go first on this one. Um, whoa. I may cry. <laughs> Ooh. Honestly, we've had a lot of good ones when we were, like, really young, but the one that, like, was like mind blowing, not mind blowing, but like just shocking and like amazing and like memorable is when you hugged me on graduation day. Aww. I tried so hard not to cry, let me tell you. <laughs> I was like, dab girl, dab. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to like stay like straight faced and I was like losing it. Ooh. Um, mine, you remember when my grandpa got sick? Mm -hmm. And, um, oh God, I'm gonna get emotional. <laughs> uh, throw up um when he got sick and I can't remember if he had just had his last surgery or if it was after he had passed but you texted me to see how I was doing mm -hmm. and hope like let me know that you were there for me and stuff like that and we weren't talking at this point like it wasn't that we were arguing it just like our lives had taken us in separate directions mm -hmm. like I was away at college in St. Augustine and and you were college here and so we were just living separate lives, but you were really in tuned on that. And I was doing, I don't want to say I was doing okay, but I hadn't cried because I'm not a big crier. Mm -hmm. But I hadn't like cried yet about it. And as soon as you texted me, I actually lost it. Because mm -hmm. I was like, ugh, I'm going to mm -hmm. get emotional now. But I was like really sad. And then you texted me and I was like, oh my God, like I can't. Because you, you were always with us together like you know him mm -hmm. and so it was just it was a sad moment mm -hmm. but it was good it was just sad well thanks for having or thanks for letting me have you wait that sounds wrong <laughs> <Thanks for you. laughs> i don't roll that way thank you for being here and i'm gonna love and cherish this video forever so i'm gonna cry mm -hmm. oh love you babe love you too bye 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 roll out of frame <laughs>